What's good, YouTube, man? We back with another NBA 2K25 video, man. As y'all know, today, uh, 2K has finally dropped the gameplay trailer, like uh, the builder, um, uh, the badges, and the, the how everything is going to work. Um, like starting from like the earlier, earlier in the my career, and they talked about the my career. I'm not gonna lie, bro. The my career is looking good too, man. So we go ahead and swipe over. This is my. If y'all want to go follow my Instagram, my Instagram is Count Trends. If y'all want to follow me on Instagram, uh, I post all the new uh things about 2K on there. If y'all want to follow me on there, uh, we gonna start from this thing right here, man. I've been watching it, so I kind of got a good glimpse of where 2K is going with all this good, uh, the good news, man. It's, it's been a lot of things that I've been hearing. Most importantly, we're going to start from this slide first, though, man. This slide first. Um, I know y'all probably looking at this as, like, what's going on. Uh, 2K25 has 70 takeovers, bro. 72 takeovers. And on and the, the special is the uh, the takeover ability. So how this is going to go, right? Because I know y'all probably looking at this as it's kind of confusing. Okay, so you got... This build right here may be a center build. This is a center build, chat. He has all these takeovers at the bottom, which is barbecue chicken, board beast, eraser, horse, glass gunner, fundamental, and bucket. Which this is meaning you could also push R2, as you can see, which they didn't do it on here. But you could push R2 and see that there's more that you could choose from. So you could also push R2 and go over. And you could also, as you see from the blue thing on the on the, uh, on the right side, you could also slide down and see more. So there's a lot of takeovers on this game. Y'all probably thinking, like, how is there so many takeovers when you're not really doing that much in basketball in general? All you're doing is shooting the ball, dunking the ball. Um, you know, like the, the previous takeovers, playmaking, shooting, uh defense and rebounding like you know what i'm saying you're not doing you're not doing much basically each takeover is giving you different boosts to certain attributes so as you can see he's hovering over barbecue chicken right and it is maxed out at level five he's getting plus seven close shot plus seven post control plus seven strength but it's being maxed out at level five level one i think you want to get two plus two on each attributes and when you get plus one and you got plus two plus three plus and it keeps going up and when you finally get your takeover ability unlocked it automatically turns on by itself it automatically turns on by itself you know what i'm saying and that is your your special ability they call it now it's like the old takeover the special ability is like the old takeover from 24 23 22 on down that's the regular takeover. But you have all these other takeovers that also give you boost what the previous takeovers used to do. Once you get the 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 uh the special ability, you basically unstoppable. Once you reach level five and then you get your takeover ability, you're basically you you able to just dominate on the floor like however you, you just you just able to dominate. You know what I'm saying? And whatever you see up here, it says deep post bag. Easier to beat defenders with post back downs, move fakes, and shots. So that will make you get the animations of pushing people down rather than like just giving you boost. That's a W in my opinion. Because think about it on 24, 23, and every other 2K, right? When a post score pop their takeover, they 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 get they get the animations and they get the the um the boost. So now they split two and half to where now to level one to level five, you just get the boost. Once you get your ability, you actually get the animations, chat. And that's dope, bro. That's dope. I really like that, bro. So if I had to put that in instance for a playmaker, a playmaker would, you know what I'm saying, from level one to level five, they would just get boost. You just get a boost. Old takeovers on the previous two Ks gave you boost and also animations. Now you have when you get takeover ability you actually get the ankle breaker animations instead of just the boost you get the actual animations where you're able to dominate as a playmaker i like that same thing with sharpshooter you just get boost from level one to level five but you get sharpshooting animations once you get to uh takeover ability that's really dope i really like that man uh it's different I'm really feeling that. I like where they're going with that, man. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the next slide. Um, now, as y'all can see, um, this is the how the gameplay looks. 
um once you in the you know the gym working on your player uh they did show us a little bit of the moves the gameplay is looking really crafty chat it's looking really shifty and crafty like it's looking like a shifty and crafty get a, a shifty and crafty game rather than like like how it was before it's looking real shifty and crafty like it's looking like a real like every move is going to be shifty and crafty and then taking the information we heard before they have nine thousand new animations in the game so looking at the gameplay of how shifty it look i can i can see why why they will add um like two two thousand or they I think they said two thousand five hundred dribble animations because the game looks so shifty it looks very shifty like a shifty game bro it looks very shifty bro also, we also got some good news chat. My court is back. This is my Twitter, man. If y'all want to go follow my Twitter, my Twitter is Count Trends. I also post some things on Twitter, man, for people to say. My court is back, bro. 2K been getting the heat for the last four or five, the last four or five years from 21 Next Gen, bro. Why is my court gone, bro? They actually listening. They actually brought my court back. Uh, once they announced this, the whole chat was going crazy crazy bro because my core is a w feature and i really i'm really excited to see how the my core will look on a next gen video game like we know how my core looked on on currents on the current gens i'm excited to see how my core will look on a next gen uh on the next gen platform or the new gen if you want to call it um this is exciting man i'm super excited that they brought my core back that was one of my favorite news uh so far because my core was a w and they also have a swap jersey, um, something in the my career where you could actually swap jerseys with other NBA players. And you get to, I think they said you get to wear them to the park. And I also think that they said you can hang them up in your my court, bro. You can hang them up in your my court. And that's giving me 17, 2K17 my court vibes. Y'all remember on the wall, there were NBA jerseys up on the wall in 17. Uh, so that's, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope that they doing that. Um... Now we going and we looking at the um the badges, right? Let's talk over the badges. Uh honestly, the badges, everything with the badges is pretty simple, the same as every other 2K. Uh they do have it now to where there's no like there like your badges won't drop anymore. Once you unlock the badge, you keep the badge. W. I'm happy that they went back to that. They really was listening to what, what people didn't like, and people were saying that in the beginning of the game. Nobody was really saying that towards the end. It was like at the end, everybody got used to it. Like, okay, well, well, like me, I didn't really like care if I like all the badges that I was using. I was using about all my badges on all my players. I was using all my badges. So it wasn't really no, you know what I'm saying? But that's dope that they did go back. Even if they didn't, it wouldn't be a problem for me because I done got used to playing and my badge was going down if I didn't use the badge because I get it right back up. Like, you know what I'm saying? But now the badges don't drop chat the badges stay the same they don't drop anymore even if you don't use the badge the badges stay the same chat they have a lot of new stuff in this 2k even from me playing every 2k i'm hearing it and i'm like oh i ain't never heard nothing like that also they have something uh that's uh um i think it's badge as you can see at the top you got badge perks you got badge perks and you got badge elevators at the top and maximum overdrive which i think maximum overdrive been in the game but they have new badge perks where say if you're not good at shooting limitless range shots right but you're on my team and i'm good with shooting limitless range shots your limitless range badge will get a boost even if you can't it's kind of like like imagine being on lebron james team in real life right you you see a Le, you you don't got no iq but you see LeBron James doing all this IQ stuff, you're gaining IQ by playing with LeBron James. So if you know that I'm just a, a lights out shooter, you're going to gain IQ from shooting the ball, being on my team, if I know how to shoot. Same thing, vice versa. If you're a good dunker and I don't know how to dunk, I will gain the badges just by playing with you because you're a good dunker. So I'll be picking up your dunking IQ. That's dope. That's dope, chat. That's dope. I like it. Like it, that's new. I never seen it before. Never seen it before. That's new. Uh and as you see now we have um red badges, which I think they call I forgot what they call, man. But if y'all know, y'all know I don't really know. But that is uh the new new badge system right there. Um as y'all can see, we got red badges now. Uh I think that separates a lot of skill. 
because y'all remember before, if you went 99 ball howling, bro, you already had Hall of Fame. So now Hall of Fame is not really as good as the red. So there's always a cap over Hall of Fame. Now, y'all know Hall of Fame always been the best badge in the game. That been the top. So now that we got red, now it's like Hall of Fame isn't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't really nothing for real. Like, now that we got red, you know what I'm saying? And if you know on previous 2Ks, if you went 98 ball handling chat, you had all the badges. You had Hall of Fame gold. But now, you're not getting that red if you're not going 98. If you're not going 98, you're not getting that red, bro. And I like that, bro. I like that. I like that, bro. I like that, bro. Um, This is what the builder looks like. Uh, Creating your build. Creating your build. This is what the builder looks like. I like it. It looks pretty dope. Um... I like that they put all, as y'all can see, they also put offensive rebounding in its own category. We also don't have stamina anymore. As y'all can see, there's no more. So it, well, there is stamina, but there's a different way you got to get stamina. The new way you got to get stamina is you have to do actual workouts to get stamina. I know it sounds crazy. Every build automatically starts off at a, a 85 stamina. Every build starts off at an 85 stamina. You get, you got to go actually to the, the facility and actually work out to get 99 stamina. And once you get 99 stamina, it's permanent. It don't, it don't go back down or nothing like that. It's permanent once you get to the 99 stamina. So now stamina is in, there's a different way to get stamina now that doesn't cost your money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now rebounding and offense is in a different category rather than all red because you know red was defensive and rebounding but now it's in a different category i really like that bro i've been saying that since 20 that they should put defense and rebound in a different category due to the simple fact you you lost so many attributes in defense you know not not lost you gained so many different badges just by upgrading your d your defense you remember that from um i think it was like 20 where if you upgrade your defense, you got other defensive badges. Same thing. I think that was last year too. Like you, I think like if you upgraded your defensive rebound, and you got um like like strength badges. Like if you upgrade your defensive rebound, like you got strength badges. You got uh, I don't I don't know, I don't think it was interior badge. I think you got like some type of strength badge. I can't really remember, but it was something like that, bro. If y'all don't talk about you know, bro. Um, as you can see, more of the red badges here. Um, high school games is in NBA 2K25. Yes, high school games is back, chat. Uh, it's in the career. When she first started your my career, bro, you play high school games. You play, uh, another, another game mode and another game mode before you get to the actual NBA. That's pretty dope. Last slide here. Uh, more looks at the, um, more look at the red badge, man. Um, I don't know how long this recording is, man, but I appreciate y'all standing to the end, man. Make sure y'all hit that like, hit that subscribe button, man. I'm dropping more NBA 2K25 news. If I can, if I, if you like the way I explained it, and I explained it kind of simple, because there's a lot of people trying to explain it, and it's sounding so difficult, y'all. It's not that difficult. Um, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss no K2, 2K25 news or any 2K25 gameplay, because I will be playing 2K25 early uh, on the 4th. If you're gonna be if you waiting for some content, man, and see how everything looking, make sure you come follow the Twitch. I am live on Twitch right now. It's count trends. Same thing as my YouTube, same thing as my Instagram, same thing as my everything, man. So I appreciate y'all for that. Catch y'all in the next one, bro.